I'm so excited right now, you guys. I have a package that I'm walking into after work. I'm so excited. It's a plant unboxing time. Woohoo! All right, we're in the elevator. I'm so excited. You guys, tell me you're so excited. Okay, we're in my apartment. Turning on lights with my elbow and stuff. And I'm gonna have to stop and feed the cats, but then we're unboxing. Yay! Um, they like the chicken and pumpkin recipe. And they should share three cans a day. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. Okay, so here's Jane and Murphy getting some dinner. Are you excited? that away later. All right, and we have some pottery sprinkles. They love these things. Um, this is the Mexican blend. There's a whole whole slew of other um, flavors for kitties. It makes their food more interesting. And it's just a little food topper. See? I'm struggling. And there's Jane and Murphy having dinner. Yay. Okay. Let's unbox these plants, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so excited for this unboxing. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna open this lovely tawny port. It's a 10 year old tawny port though, bottled in 2021. Um, it's Quevedo from Portugal. Port Quevedo. From Portugal, um, and I've tried it before. I already know I like it, so we're gonna calm the nerves a little because I know what's in this plant unboxing, but I'm really scared to know if it survived the trip. Um, cheers! I hope you poured yourself a drink with me, by the way. Comment down below what your favorite after dinner or after work drink kids. Bottoms up, y'all. I'm really sorry if you can hear the cats eating in the background. I hope that doesn't bother you. I know some people are sensitive to mouth sounds and that's definitely a mouth sound. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I definitely almost just knocked my port over. <laughs> Huge! You guys! Sorry. 
Yo, it's so huge. The leaves are so big. I really, oh my god. <laughs> going to survive but that's okay because the three that are happy right now are so huge look at Kaylee Ellen head test I think so oh my gosh so this is my philodendron pastazanum I'm so excited look at those aerial roots ah, look at them they're so cute ah, and there's a new leaf coming and the leaves are so big! Ah, I cry! Ah. That's so cool. This is officially the coolest plant that I own. But wait, there's more! Um, we're gonna go back and look at the roots later. Okay, what's next? We adjusted because I kept looking on the left for my camera lens and definitely not finding it. Okay, in here. Ooh, you guys are gonna be so excited for me. This is my very first Anthurium. Oh, she's so pretty, you guys. Oh, she looks really similar to the Pasta Zanum. But she's my very first Anthurium. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, so this is an Anthurium Magnificum. You know what the tags look like. You've seen an unboxing from Equigena before. Um, look at the little baby leaf. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and the leaves are so velvety. You guys. Ugh. I had a discussion with one of my girlfriends from Sacramento back home um, about how she hates it when YouTubers say, you guys, but, oh my god, I can't help it. I'm so excited and I'm so used to saying it. <sighs> Let's see what this one is. Oh, I don't need to do that. I just need to undo this one here. So the next couple should also be smaller plants. I ordered seedlings um, for... <laughs> I ordered seedlings instead of full size because I'm kind of still broke, but I had to have them. I had to do an Equigener unboxing. I just had to. Oh, oh, <gasps> look, look at it. Oh my God, it's so long. They sent me such a big plant. Look at that, I can't even fit it in the screen. Oh my goodness. It's my very first Melina Chrysum baby. And she's got so many aerial roots. Not all of them are viable anymore. These look pretty crispy actually. But some of them are definitely choppable. So I might go ahead and make more plants out of this. Um, maybe recoup a little bit of my, ooh, fungus matches for that being gross. Um, oh, and look at the newest leaf, she's so cute. They're so pretty. Um, yeah, so that's super exciting. Ah, I'm glad I might be able to propagate this once it kind of acclimates to my home and I see how it does. Um, that's so, I don't think I've ever seen anyone's melano come this day, but I'm really stoked on it. Yeah, I can't wait to check out these roots. So this is a plant that was not on my wish list until I saw how many different forms it has, and they are all cute. Everyone else was obsessed with them like a year or two ago, and I was just like, ah, it's alright, whatever. Um. Oh no, leaf murder. So these plants are notorious for not shipping well. So 
so I'm just going to get over it. Dead leaf that just fell out of the bag there. Um, oh, look at the little fuzzy petals. Ugh, that's nasty though. Look at that. What the heck? But anyway, Build Engine Varicosum, notorious for not shipping well. There's my leaf. Um, looks like we actually have some stem rot, so I'm gonna have to trim this as part of the rehab journey. Um, but the rest of the stem looks nice, and the leaves are freaking adorable. It doesn't have the red backs that I thought it was supposed to have, though. So I don't know, Equigenera or Equigenera, or however you pronounce your name. I'm not sure about this. But I wasn't expecting it to be perfect, so I guess we'll see. Aw, Jamie, did you bring me your toy? She's so funny. She carries this toy around and cries. You can probably hear that in the background, too. Um, okay, and let's see, last but not least, I've got these two little guys. Wait. It's supposed to be two. I don't know what's happening yet. Oh. My God, I forgot my cord. Oh, by the way, it's like midnight right now, so forgive the weird light. Okay, let's see. Anyway, so I just got this little orchid. I'm really stoked. This is the first orchid I've ever bought too. There's a lot of firsts in this video, you guys. Anyway, um, there's a lot of firsts in this video. Um, I got this mini orchid. It's called a Dryadella Simula. Yeah, and I don't, I know in my last video I said, know the care for your plants. I'm gonna have to research this one. But, holy moly. So, both the Philodendron Fossisanum and the Melanochrysum and the Magnificum, I bought all as seedlings for like, I think it was $20 each or something like that. And I mean, you saw how big those plants were, right? Those do not look like what I would think seedlings would come looking like. So that's pretty cool. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your planty nerdiness. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it, and I cannot wait to get these plants in some water and let them kind of spring back to life and then get them acclimated to my apartment. And then maybe I'll film a potting video for you, showing you how I'm going to care for my plants. Oh, that's Jane and her toy there. She carries it around and cries at me. Very weird. Now she's sniffing my pointies. Such a weirdo. My beautiful weirdo. My demon princess girl. Are you the most sweetest girl ever? Yes, you is. Her doesn't like the flash in her eyeball. But she loves your mama. Yes, good girl. Mm. So I totally forgot I was going to show y'all what the roots look like. So, let's make a mess of some sphagnum moss. Some viable roots and some not viable roots. Um, but that's okay, that happens. We just came from Ecuador, so I'm really not surprised. Um, okay, I've got this to put my plants in. It's just plain water. I should probably do something fancier, but I don't got time for that. I had a hot, sweaty night. San Francisco was like 85 degrees today, and I just want to cool down, finish my court, and maybe even rinse off in the shower because that's how gross it was today. <clears throat> The melanocrysum seedling. What the heck? I don't even understand how they did send me such a nice looking plant and call it a seedling. Like, what do their like 
regular normal practice of life, right? Okay. Okay. So again, there's some stuff that probably we pulled off. I, I'm gonna let these soak in water so I don't rip anything trying to remove them. You know that? Okay. On to the Ethereum. No, I can't believe I own an Ethereum. It's okay. Good news about the Philodendron is I'm really pretty good at rooting them. So it's no biggie if those leaves all suck. I just chop everything off until new. Um, sorry for my tail there. I don't see what I'm doing in the But, oh, these are some gorgeous, gorgeous roots here. Oh. Oh. This piece fell off, but that's okay. Look at those. They look pretty darn healthy. Some of them are a little broken, but I'll just pull those off too. I don't know how good an idea it is to put all of these plants in the same container. I think we're gonna try it. Actually, you know what? This guy has a pretty big system, so I'm gonna find him his own place to live. It's a pasta sanum. I really can't believe they call these ceilings. What the heck? That's so crazy. Um, I just have to like, what the heck are you doing, ma? I'm crazy. I don't even have room for these plants. Like, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with them. I really just got way too excited and like bought them because they were having sale. I'm not sure about these roots. They don't look that great. Um, which is why I'm starting to play them so they're not really popping off. I'm gonna stop them. Oh, that's not good. Oh, alright, that one. Probably three chlorotic leaves. I want to. <laughs> Hello. So we got a bug. Goodbye. I'm sorry. Thank you for dying because of the piggies. I clearly use all like little babies. Weird. Usually philodendron, usually philodendron, like when you cut them, they smell really good to me. This one doesn't smell like great. It smells kind of amazing. That reminds me of like a bell pepper. So weird. Um, yeah, so. And last but not least, I'm afraid to unwrap this little orchid. But we're gonna do it. One, two. what orchid roots are supposed to look like. I feel like this ain't it. Is that what they're supposed to look like? Tell me down in the comments if that's what orchid roots, uh, like dried 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 are supposed to look like. They look a little dry to me. There's a lot of sphagnum moss stuck in there. All crumbling off in my fingers. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in water to acclimate as well. These cats. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go edit this video. Well, I'm probably gonna edit it in the morning, but... Yeah. See you later. So cute in your outfit. Look at this. It's freaking melanoma rising. I'm like, what even? How cool is that? Not a seedling. Oh, look how shiny the magnet comes. Oh, that's gorgeous. And holy moly. I can't begin to describe how excited that human belief looks. Makes me feel. I'm glad this wasn't like a wishless plant that I was like super invested in though. Very close and you kind of disappointed me. That's okay though. This was the best after work surprise ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you.